if Suitland senior Andrew Bryant was charged up at winning a scholarship recently, it was only natural since he had expertly wired up a brand new house in Clinton built by students just like himself. The 4,500 square foot home, sitting appropriately at the intersection of Friendship Road and Student Drive, is the 40th such home built by youngsters who often have never before driven in a nail, but quickly mature into first-rate tradesmen and women with a love for construction. I'm an electrician. I'm also an apprenticeship. I'm on my way to get into the apprenticeship of Local 26, but I also worked in the house. We did three-way switches, two-way switches. We put up ceiling fans, lights, everything that you name it. If you see something that's in there that got a light on it, we did it. <laughs> so how do you feel about getting this? I feel great, honored, completely honored. I love it, I do. I mean, for me to win a scholarship like this, for me to put this hard work and passion in there like that is just amazing to get awarded for it. Yeah. A truly, truly blessing, it really is. It's fun to see the kids at the beginning of the year because they're afraid. Yeah. They're so timid, afraid to use the nail guns and saws, that kind of stuff. Yeah. And after a couple of weeks, they're fighting over the saw and fighting over the nail gun because they like to use it. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's, it's a lot of learning curve, but you get to see the kids you know, it's kind of like their babies when they first get here. Yeah. And then when it comes to the end, you can say, here's your list. I need you to do this, this, and this, and away they go. Dad, have you ever built a house before? Uh, no, I haven't <laughs> built a house before. But um, last year, we came again with the FACTS program to do pretty much the same thing that we did this year. Mm -hmm. And it's a very nice program, and I enjoy Wonderful. it. Yeah. Wonderful. With its 16 rooms, including a spectacular bathroom sporting a sunken tub, his and her closets, and enough room to throw a party, energy certified appliances guaranteed to reduce utility bills by 50%, and a bright atrium built by a beaming bricklayer whose pride in the house is palpable, 8201 Student uh, Drive is more than worth the $440,000 asking price. We did the arches above here. We uh, had to lay the bricks, you know, to make sure the measurements were right and everything. And the arches were, were very challenging, but in the end, it all came out nice and the house looks great. Mm -hmm. So, would you move into this house? Of course, of course. <laughs> like the decor, everything, the interior decorators did awesome on the house. The outside of the house looked nice. Everything, yes, looks gorgeous. I say, you know, in addition to bricklaying, you could be a good real estate agent. You know how to sell this thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, got yeah, little skills here and there. Jay Kwan, like Andrew and Kofi and 15 other of the 110 students in the FACTS program, received not only a scholarship at the dedication of the house, but also the hearty endorsement of his mom. Now, did you know that your son had this in him, that he could be a bricklayer and design something like this? He had, I believe he can do anything he sets his mind to. I mean, I think he can do anything that he sets his mind to doing. Have you walked through the house? Have you had a look? Yes, it's wonderful. <laughs> I love it. I'm so glad he was a part of it. Yeah. So if you had $439,400, would you buy it today? Immediately. <laughs> <laughs> would you buy it? If I, if I could afford it, <laughs> I would buy it. It has 16 rooms. Yeah. So you're going to have to buy this for your mom? Yeah. I mean, do you think you could swing that, Kofi? Ah, uh, hopefully one day. 1500 bucks, that's a nice down payment. Oh, uh, maybe if I save up, maybe. <laughs> Even if they don't go on to be carpenters or landscape designers, all the young builders, like Laurel High School's Tuyun Tu, a two-time scholarship winner, can use their newly learned construction skills to enhance their eventual careers. I'm, I'm planning to go to Howard Community College for two years and then transfer to a university when I'm ready. And what do you want to do? I want to be an engineer and then also um, theater is a big part of my life. So I want to combine both theater and um, IT. And if you're worried that a student built house might be somehow less than perfect, know that just the opposite is true. Each of these houses in this cul-de-sac have been built and they would certainly be um, outstanding recommendations from those homeowners regarding the quality of the homes and the support that they receive if anything goes wrong, which we haven't had in all of these years. So whether or not you're in the market for a home right now, 
do drive by the houses on Student Drive to get a glimpse of the handiwork of some highly talented youngsters who are the pride of Prince George's County and especially their moms. This is Dave Zarin reporting.